Number two, you have to get rid of the dairy completely. Yes, it's a myth that we need dairies as a human. We, we really, really don't. And when you dig very deeply, and in my group, I actually provide uh, my girls with a statistic and with uh, new studies so they can actually see everything what I'm saying is actually backed with a solid uh, research and solid science. I urge you to even check it by yourself. Is it really uh, true that, you know, by uh, consuming more dairy, we're gonna have a stronger bones or less fracture? I actually challenge you to do that and then check which countries consume the most dairy and which countries actually have the highest osteoporosis rate and you're gonna be shocked because they are exactly the same countries so uh, number two uh, in our changing lifestyle is removing dairy completely next thing removing processed food completely and by processed food i mean all the food which got more than five ingredients all this with uh, artificial flavors flavors artificial coloring you know all this literally man-made food which i don't call food at all so what is the processed food you might ask so for example uh, you've got the endomi soups uh, you've got the chips uh, all these chocolate biscuits are processed unfortunately uh, you've got uh, all the ready meals they are processed food and in my group i actually go and show them you know like the dark secrets of the food industry and you know the girls are actually shocked they are shocked and if I told you, like, for example, from where the chicken in your uh, ready meal comes from and what they're actually doing, you will be shocked too. The next thing which you will have to remove, uh, alcohol, nicotine and caffeine. Absolutely. And I know for many of you, it's going to be very difficult. Well, it was for me when it comes to caffeine, because I was the biggest coffee addict, like seriously, the biggest coffee addict ever. And I remember I literally laugh at all people who had migraine because I thought that they're exaggerating. I laugh at them. And then I get off the coffee and I had the horrible, the most, ugh, ugh. I, I don't even have words to describe it. My migraine was so big that I thought like my head is gonna literally explode. I never experienced something like this in my life, never. I'm never gonna laugh at people with migraine ever again, I promise. That was horrendous, seriously. So uh, why we have to uh, get rid of the alcohol and nicotine, I don't have to tell you, but there is the research when it comes to uh, coffee, which I want you to know, and you can even Google it, is associated with increased uh, risk of formation of cysts. And when I found out this, that was the like one of the major reasons why I actually stopped coffee altogether. So it's worth to take this into consideration. Another thing which you're gonna have to remove from your diet, it's gonna be gluten. And by this, I don't mean that you can uh, use all these gluten-free options because they are even more shite than the normal ones. I'm serious. They are like literally man-made. Like, for example, if you've got the yeast or if you've got any grains and they extra they extract the gluten from from this how do you think is this happening that they're using some natural abracadabra you know magic to extract them no it's actually harsh harsh chemical process so uh, you thinking that you're choosing the healthy options and to be honest this option is as much disgusting as the normal one and you know what the bread which we're eating today is nothing like the bread which for example my grandmother remember i remember when my grandma make a you know a homemade bread she actually you know make it herself today's bread is just nothing like this it's nothing it's the mass production and all they care is the long shelf life like you know to keep it as long as as possible and that they don't have to replace it, it uh, so often so that's actually very very bad for you and the name gluten is just means that it's glue to your intestines you know and that's one of the biggest contributor of the bloating and of a uh, very very uh, problematic uh, microbiome 
and the leaky gut so it's very essential that you remove like all gluten and uh, all wheat i did but that's it from removing you have to add some things too uh, first thing which you have to add is a lot of water you have to keep yourself hydrated because the water is so important it's not only hydrate your body but it also helps you to regulate your uh, hormonal balance and it helps you to de detoxify and it's very very um, essential because your liver is helping to uh, process the excess estrogen so that's why you need to keep yourself hydrated everything is connected girl like everything is connected if it's such a simple water make it different so another thing which you have to add you have to increase the quality and quantity of fruits and vegetables and that's essential and not negotiable it really is you know uh, by increasing this how your body is going to benefit one you're going to heal your leaky gut very quickly uh, by giving uh, your body a lot of quantity of different um, food which your body have to digest which means a lot of uh, new friendly bacteria is gonna appear and you're gonna have a diversity of good bacteria and you can do this absolutely naturally without any probiotics another thing it will uh, speed up your metabolism and it will actually uh, regulate your hormones as well so it's very very worth to give it a go another thing what you're gonna add is intentional breathing yes it's very very much important because the intentional breathing uh, keep you away from hyperventilation and hyperventilation is basically when you stress you you breathe like that and you know keeping yourself in chronic chronic stress uh, mode is very very much not good it's increase your inflammation and it's contribute to many many illnesses so you have to really really uh, understand how to regulate your breath which mean which means which gives signal to your body how to regulate your uh, stress level and another thing what i would add is the daily meditation which is absolutely amazing or uh, self-hypnosis and in my group again we are doing a lot of self-hypnosis because i'm certified hypnotherapist as well so i just want to show my girls you know how amazing it is i also believe in energy because it's not just like woo woo thing like many people believe but it's actually backed up by science we are all you know buzzing and bouncing energy fields and when you actually zoom it to to me to inside you will see that uh, i'm nothing but just the atom bouncing around together so we are all energy and we are ruled by emotions and what the emotions means it means energy in motions so a lot of our emotions are actually stored in our body and uh, this is actually backed by science so in my group again uh, i yesterday i show my girls uh, how to uh, clear all this uh, stuck energy and how to communicate uh, with your body and ask your body your questions because yes you can do this too <laughs> so i will add uh, working with the energy to all of this as well another very important thing is adding uh, oils good good natural oils are essential for those who are in my email list you you know that recently i shared with you the new researchers about the natural uh, fish oils and endometriosis and it's proven that they are the consumption of those oils are endometric implants so it's very 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 much important and if you want to know which oil is the best which one to avoid uh, there is the free checklist uh, down there so just uh, you know tell me where to send it and i will do because it comes as a pdf and another thing what i would add to to all of this is intentional movement and i don't mean any like very intensive physical exercises I mean just intentional movement whatever that means to you for me that means yoga with Adrian <laughs> which I really really recommend she don't know me but you know I think she's amazing and Benji is amazing so you should definitely definitely check it out there is few more biohacks which are very very helpful which I'm sharing with my one-on-one -on -one clients or with my Facebook group uh, which are talking about uh, how to biohack the hormones and uh, how to uh, synchronize with our uh, biological rhythm 
and how to harness the maximum of our energy, which is very important for us girls because we are chronically fatigued. So basically, all you have to do is uh, following all the steps and I'm telling you right away, the change is not gonna happen overnight because mind you, it took a lot of years to you to be where you are, isn't it? So it's gonna take some times to reverse all the damage we did to our body, but it is working, it really is. And again, I'm not the first one and I'm not the last one who managed to put my illness into remission naturally. If you don't believe it, you just can Google heal and endometriosis naturally and you will see like the, you know, how many books was written about it, how many people are talking about it. It's literally happening it's happening and another thing very important even if you manage to put your end to remission for many many years like for five years 10 years 20 years no one ever gonna undiagnose you and why no one's gonna undiagnose you let's just think for a second like what will happen if all of the sudden those people who had the cancer and managed to overcome it naturally which as well is happening what will happen if those people been undiagnosed like you know what will happen what will happen if all the girls who managed to put their illnesses naturally would be undiagnosed what will happen of course all of the world will demand answers yes which puts on risk a lot of uh, people who are profiting from it massively like all the food industry all the big pharma industry all the affiliate doctors so perhaps that's why you don't hear about it but it is happening it really is and i want you to understand one thing if you still believe that healing naturally is some kind of woo, -woo i want you to answer me this question if doctor put your bones together after you have a fracture after you break your leg if the doctor put your bones together what do you think is actually happening what is happening your body is healing naturally you know doctor is not healing your body your body is healing naturally and in the same like when you cut your finger in few days it's gonna be a scar here what do you think is happening there your body is healing naturally because it's your body natural capability your body is built this way your body always been healing naturally always and it always will no matter how much you know articles you're gonna read about it that is bollocks it's still not gonna change the fact that your body is capable of healing naturally it really is so i want you to ask yourself this question when when this this happened that you stopped believing in your own body natural ability of heal and you start believing all this bollocks with somebody said when when was this time run through your memories try to find out where was it and you will see that is not actually your thought this thought was planted to you by somebody somewhere and i want you to search for it so then you will actually know who been running your programs for all that years and another very exciting thing for those who are been waiting till the end of this video oh my god and so many people is gonna hate me for that but i have to do it i'm gonna run free challenge of how to put your endo into remission naturally which means we're gonna have a series of the videos which i'm gonna talk to you about every single step in depth so if this video is not enough for you i want you to keep an eye in next monday video so you can sign up for this free challenge and you're gonna get the free workbook which i'm gonna make for you so it's make it more much more easy to digest and process of the information if you want to start your healing journey just now and you don't want to wait for the challenge that's absolutely fine i've got you cover as well just uh, check the link below and you will see the free endometriosis checklist which actually runs through every single step i did to put my endo into remission naturally so just request this one and it will be sent to you right away 
I can't wait to see you next Monday and start this challenge and it's not going to be posted on YouTube it's going to be delivered via email so I really really uh, encourage you to sign up and uh, sign up process will be open from next Monday if you like this video please do hit the subscribe button and like this video and share it with your friends I will see you next Monday love you so much